Maureen chose me for this video, because she asked for a brother for Alyssa for 10 months and was so excited when I arrived. She'll use me in a video whenever she can. Thanks for visiting her YouTube channel, she really appreciates it. And, and so here's Alyssa. I had a request about how to fit the character into a phone screen, but still show a little bit outside. Um, and that was from my, um, from my thank you video a little bit ago. And then I made Alyssa out of the computer screen just as part of the thumbnail. So you can really do this with any shape and I showed it in a few other masks, um, but I'll show you how to do this one. So what I do is first I just got the phone and again, I always just go in and search it. It always makes it easier than trying to find where it might be. Size it to whatever I want. And then I wanted a background um, just so it didn't look too blank. And when I put in nature, there are some different ones that aren't the cartoony ones of the typical background ones. And what I think I used this one. Um, so I have this background. And then what I do is I get a rectangle and I'm just going to fit it to the frame of the phone. I talk slower when I'm doing this. I'm going to curve it a little. So I'm going to grab the one of these little um, nodes and just curve it in a little bit because the phone has that. I'm going to put it behind the phone and make sure that everything is covered on all of the edges. So it may not be perfect, but that's okay because I'm not seeing any empty space. Then all I'm going to do is select that shape and my background, right click and mask it. So now it is masked in the frame and that actually looks good. But if you wanted to move the background image, just double tap on the image, click off and you can move it around. If you double click on the image and move around, it's going to move the mask. You don't want to do that. So I am going to cancel that. You want to double click, then click off to just the image, and then you can put it however you want it to be. I liked it with the little moon, but you can have it any way that you want. All right, then I went up and I got my, I always call him the brother, but he is the safari kid in the 3D characters. I'm just going to put him however I want him to be. Now, the one thing that I will want to do is not really have the hands too much down so they'll be cut off. It would still work, and I'll show you when we do it, but because this is curved, it can make it look a little bit odd as it's moving. So what I should have done is just made a mask made two of the masks that I did before I masked the back image and I forgot. So I'm just going to go up here and I'll get a square this time. I want to make sure it goes over his head. It could go over however, we don't have to be too precise here. The spot you want to be precise is the end of the frame so that there won't be any gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these. Let's just extend that a little bit in case we need more. I'm going to select both. I'm going to right click and I'm going to mask. And right there, it looks, it looks like I did an okay job, right? Um, if I had to move him, I could move it the same way I did the background. Double click, click off onto the image and I can move him if I want him taller or shorter. 
can see where it is. Now what you can see, make the map, make the phone a little bit bigger, is as he's waving, he's outside the phone. But look at what happens to his hand. So that's an easy fix. What you need to do is click on it, go over here and detach the mask and just make the mask bigger. Now we're going to have to do it on this side too because you'll see, well, I only have him waving. If I had him in another action with a talking action was there. So you can be very generous. You can even make it the whole size of the canvas. The only one that truly matters is right down here in the bottom. Let me just show you what I meant by the hand. So I'm going to attach the mask again. If I double click my brother and I bring him down, now see what happens? Because this mask is curved on the edges, it's cutting this off because the mask is ending right there. So you can try to be really tricky and figure it out, but the best solution that you want to do is just, whoop, I, I clicked off the image. Whoop, I need, this is where you need to make sure you grab the image. I would just make it super easy on yourself and just don't have his hands or any of their hands right there. And then you'll see it works. So I think it was, if I add talking, I think that brought him out onto the left side. So here he's still going to stay within the frame. So that's how you keep them in the frame. And you would do the same exact thing for the um, computer. You would just make the mask. So let me open that up. I have the computer, I have the rectangle for the mask, I have the image, which you can see already is bigger than the screen, but when I mask it, it cuts it off. And then I have Alyssa, and she also is masked with a square. So right now you can see she's outside. Once I select both, right click mask. Now she's in the computer. That's how you mask it. So more mask fun. Hope you, ha hope you find a way to use this.